Hello and welcome to the Views Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make kiwi strawberry agua fresca. If you guys are interested in more of the sugary um, aspects of this, I'm going to make sure to add the clean recipe and the sugary recipe at the end of this video, okay? Um, during the whole process, you guys see that I am very, very chatty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin peeling my kiwis. And I'm so happy because they're actually like super, you guys can see that. They're very ripe and soft, and that's when I'm going to get the most flavor out of them, and they're super, super sweet. I don't know the perfect way to cut the kiwi, okay? But I just cut the furry peel off, something like that. Oh, they're so fragrant, but I know that there's a lot of people that have allergies. If you have a kiwi allergy, just keep it out. But thank you for joining me. You know, you guys were asking me like what I'm doing, how am I detoxing? I'm gonna have all that information in the Views Club uh, channel. I, I was gonna keep it with like my obnoxious beauty stuff <laughs> and my shenanigans, but it is a place where um, if you guys have a lot of questions here, I'll end up answering them over there because I know I have a lot of people that like recipes and just specifically food. So I'm going to keep all the views, extra requests and things that I'm willing to share with you guys on the other channel. Okay. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link in the description and at the um, end of the videos. So let's get to it. You know, do is you want to add your kiwis. I'm forgetting something okay so what we're gonna do now we're gonna blend this for about three to four minutes if you have a blender that's not as powerful you might have to do maybe six minutes and go from there use a little bit of less fruit with more more water to fruit ratio for you um, but for me I think this has been working for this particular blender between three to four cups of water um, about one to two cups of fruit and blend and strain and you know how we're gonna do this so let's go ahead and blend this That little fuzzy from the uh, kiwi definitely makes it itchy so if you guys are prone to allergies and stuff like that make sure to have like gloves or something that's gonna help you out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly strain this because I, I enjoy the seeds from the kiwi but the strawberry ones get really stuck and I'm not that crazy about them so I am gonna strain them I'm also straining them because I've been eating my salad I showed you guys um, on the last videos addressing in the salad that I've been eating before I even consider eating naughty anything that I'm craving I'll have that and what's been happening is I'm so full I can't even eat the things that I'm craving chicken wings enchiladas right now <laughs> which I can consume them in moderation and in a healthy way I'm working on it guys I definitely feel with my uh, detox my um, my legs have been hurting I don't know why and I I haven't been putting a lot of pressure on them but they they for sure have been hurting a lot more and you guys want me to go into depth with detox what I'm currently detox and I don't think I don't even know how I got to this point but I'm currently <laughs> detoxing right I'm detoxing from a lot of things in my life I'm not saying I'm detoxing from like animal products or anything like that I'm just detoxing from the habits that I built um, to where I'm eating more um, not so nutritious food and trying to incorporate more uh, fruits and veggies in my diet which is what I really like point blank enjoy because growing up when you um when you're not financially okay like with your family and stuff it's difficult uh to buy certain foods i i mean my mom was a hard-working lady so i understand that and proteins were definitely more expensive so my mom always bought more fruits and vegetables and that's kind of what um what we grew up with you know from nopales verdolagas affordable things for us and I'll try to find pictures. I was definitely really thin. Like, really, really. I think, like, when I look back, I'm like, that doesn't look healthy to me. So, I like my body now. I just, I'm trying to get healthier for my family. I'll be 40 in a few years, and once you hit that time frame, guys, 
our bodies change. They don't adapt well if we haven't been treating it well. And I think the past mukbang years, I haven't been as kind to my body as I usually am. And I should know better. I really should, but... I don't know if it's just me, but I see pink foamy things and I'm like, yeah, let's do this. I'm excited. See, like when you do the agua fresca, the watermelon agua fresca, you don't get so much of the creaminess. It's just pure, light, refreshing, kind of like the cucumber water. And I think the melon has that effect, but any other um, fruits or berries and stuff like that, you definitely, you definitely get the, the creaminess from them. Go ahead and taste a little bit. love it <laughs> oh my goodness let me get another one you know i challenge you guys it's the agua fresca challenge i challenge you guys not to use sugar do not use sugar in your agua frescas for at least eight ounces we had the views club uh tell us that this sugar was pretty good i did my finger in it i haven't tried it in my drinks yet but i really like the taste of it i almost liked it better than sugar i mean that's kind of crazy but i i really liked it another one that i really enjoyed and i used in the past for a sugar substitute is this stevia sweet drops they have them like in an orange flavor a toffee uh flavor for like your coffee when you don't want to add sugars and things like that um and I really, really enjoy this one, but you're gonna have to find out that if you use a full drop, it is, it'll sweeten up to like a gallon. It's super, super sweet, so you have to be very, very light with your hand when you use this one. Those are the sugar options that I have for you guys. Um, so if you guys wanna make this super light how I'm gonna have it, go ahead and add these if you need a little bit of sugar to get you through. But honestly, like once you start drinking the freshness and the natural beauty of our fruits, like you're not gonna want anything else. The lemon, if you guys are gonna do um, lemon or lime, I would say go with lime, definitely. And if you're gonna start, start off with half because this, the tartness from everything together is so well balanced. I'm gonna be using this recipe a lot this uh, summer for my babies because it's kind of like those Arctic Freeze from, uh, from Dairy Queen, those delicious ones. Well, you can kind of put it in this blender if you put ice, like you can just pulverize it. You guys saw when I did the raspado de fresa, like the strawberry slushy, how it pulverizes it like a shaved ice. So you can do the shaved ice, put this water and you can just drink it like that. And it will be great. I'm switching up my agua fresca today between my cucumber, cause I've been doing more of the cucumber and the kids been getting more of the fruity ones. Um, and I'll have like a small tasting of it as I'm making it for them. But for the most part, it's been the cucumber salad and um, like if I want something sweet, I'll have like a rice cake with an almond, like peanut butter, uh, almond butter. And I've just been keeping it light. I've been keeping full and like, I don't have so much focus on food. I've been keeping busy, like with so much of the homeschooling stuff we have and mommy things, but definitely give this one a try. This one is bomb.com. All right, friends, that's how I make my kiwi strawberry agua fresca this is definitely refreshing make sure you stay tuned towards the end if you guys want the sugar version or if you just want the basic ingredients for this um i i want to thank you guys so much for being patient with me as i get to your guys's messages on my instagram and my twitter um so that i can continue to post uh the lovely recipes you guys are making right here at the end of our video On that note, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adios!